So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, we'll cover the top 10 best mirrorless cameras for video. Do know you can find timestamps and links in the description down below, as well as the pinned comment. And also know this is not a sponsored video. Let's get started. Choosing the right camera is the single most crucial decision for any filmmaker, and considering the financial investment that accompanies, it's not a decision to take lightly. The camera you purchase ultimately dictates the content you can create. Over the years, mirrorless cameras have become more mainstream, continually pushing the boundaries in video creation, and today's market has plenty of enticing options, many of which are capable and rank quite closely together. In fact, most recent cameras today support 4K video with relatively high bit rates, efficient compression, flat picture profiles, and other video-centric necessities. And often only minute differences separate two video cameras, so it can quickly become overwhelming. And you'll soon become more confused as you closely examine cameras, particularly when looking at specifications. With that, we've compiled a list of the top 10 best mirrorless cameras for video in today's market. Coming in at number 10, Sony's A6600. Sony's A6600 is the APS-C flagship and their best option to date. Released in the fall of 2019, it houses a 24.2 megapixel CMOS sensor, the Bion's X image processor in 4K 30p and 1080p 120p video. It also has a 3-inch flipping touchscreen, image stabilization, weather sealing, log profiles, and headphone and microphone inputs. It uses Sony's latest 425-point hybrid AF system with 84% frame coverage. And this system also employs their real-time AF, which uses machine learning for better subject tracking and continuous AF performance. It's also one of the few cameras in Sony's current lineup to offer unlimited video recording. And coupled with its new Z-Type battery, it supplies the longest battery life of any current APS-C mirrorless camera on the market to date. Overall, Sony's A6600 combines nine years of refinement that proves Sony is the leader in software innovation, and it's their best all-in-one mirrorless camera and an excellent choice for videographers looking for a compact yet capable solution. Coming in at number nine, Sony's A7 Mark III. Sony's A7 Mark III was easily one of the most anticipated mirrorless cameras to date. Released in the spring of 2018, it houses a 24.2 megapixel backside illuminated CMOS sensor, the Bion's X image processor, and 4K 30p and 1080p 120p video. It also has a 3-inch tilting touchscreen, dual card slots, image stabilization, log profiles, weather sealing, and microphone and headphone inputs. It uses Sony's 693 point phase detect AF system with 93% frame coverage, a system taken from the flagship A9, and it provides outstanding continuous AF performance and full-time eye detection as well. It also was the first Sony camera to debut with the updated Z-Type battery, which also offers the longest lifespan in the full-frame segment. Overall, Sony's A7 Mark III offers performance that rivals several flagships of years prior, but at a price that remains attractive to even budding filmmakers looking for their first full-frame camera. Coming in at number 8, Sony's A7R Mark IV. Sony's A7R Mark IV is their fourth high-resolution mirrorless camera. Released in the fall of 2019, it houses a 60.2 megapixel backside illuminated CMOS sensor, the Bion's X image processor, 4K 30p and 1080p 120p video. It also has a 3-inch tilting touchscreen, image stabilization, log profiles, weather sealing, dual card slots, and headphone and microphone inputs. It uses Sony's 567-point phase detect AF system with real-time tracking. It also uses the new Z-Type battery, which delivers the best performance of the A7R range. But where this camera ultimately shines is in detail, the result of its 60-megapixel sensor, and the footage supplied offers unrivaled detail in this segment, particularly in the Super 35 mode. Overall, Sony's A7R Mark IV, while oriented as a stills camera, offers filmmakers enormous detail, and it's an excellent choice for those looking for a high-resolution hybrid option. Coming in at number 7, Nikon's Z6. Nikon Z6 is their entry-level full-frame mirrorless camera, released in the fall of 2018. 
It houses a 24.5 megapixel backside illuminated CMOS sensor, the XSpeed 6 image processor, and 4K 30 and 1080p 120p video. It also has a 3.2 inch tilting touchscreen, a status display, image stabilization, weather sealing, log profiles, and headphone and microphone inputs. It uses Nikon's 273 point phase detection AF system with 90% frame coverage. And the latest firmware updates brings along continuous eye and animal detection AF, resulting in Nikon's best performance yet. Nikon also equipped this camera with built-in timecode for easy synchronization and 10-bit HDMI output, plus N-Log view assist for easy spot checking. Overall, Nikon's Z6 is an excellent choice, particularly for videographers who enjoy DSLR styling and ergonomics. With this release, Nikon pleasantly surprised the market with a powerful contender, and it's a compelling all-rounder with strong video capabilities. Coming in at number 6, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. Blackmagic Pocket's 4K melds traditional camcorder capabilities with DSLR styling. Released in the fall of 2018, it uses a 20.2 megapixel micro four thirds sensor and shoots 4K DCI 60p and 1080p 120p video. It also has a 5 inch touchscreen, a full size HDMI port, a mini XLR input, dual card slots, and headphone and microphone inputs. Blackmagic has specifically designed this camera for video, and it provides several notable additions rivals at this price lack. Firstly, you can apply 3D LUTs for monitoring and record them directly into the file. Secondly, this camera shoots raw video with an impressive 13 stops of dynamic range and their fourth generation color signs from the high-end Ursa Mini Pro. These combine to deliver stunning and faithful skin tones. This camera also shoots in the wider DCI 17 by 9 aspect ratio, plus it can even record externally via USB-C to SSD drives, and it even has a built-in timecode generator and the optional ATEM Mini to create multi-camera live streaming productions. Overall, the Pocket 4K by Blackmagic obtain several high-end features from their flagship cinema line, which costs tens of thousands of dollars, and it's an excellent option for videographers and filmmakers at this price point. Coming in at number 5, Canon's EOS R6. Canon's EOS R6 is their most recent addition to the RF lineup. Released in the fall of 2020, it houses a 20.1 megapixel CMOS sensor, the Digic X image processor, 4K 60p and 1080p 120p video. It also has a 3 inch vary angle touchscreen, image stabilization, weather sealing, log profiles, and headphone and microphone inputs. It obtains several highlight features from Canon's flagship 1DX Mark III, most notably the latest Digic X processor. This gives the camera the power needed to support dual pixel CMOS AF Mark II. With deep learning technology and 100% frame coverage, the system brings along face, head, eye, and animal detect AF, which provides the best autofocusing of any Canon camera to date. It's also one of few cameras to offer 4K 60p recording, and even fewer to offer H.265 compression and 10-bit HDR, yet it even uses Canon's newest NH-type battery with the best longevity in the entire RF lineup. Overall, Canon's EOS R6 is a substantial improvement over the original EOS R with its side hinge screen, 10-bit 4K 60p video, IBIS, and updated autofocus, it's arguably the best camera they've ever released. Coming in at number 4, Fujifilm's X-T4. The Fujifilm X-T4 is the latest high-end APS-C hybrid. Released in the spring of 2020, it houses a 26 megapixel backside illuminated CMOS sensor, 4K DCI 60p and 1080p 240p video. It also has a 3 inch vary angle touchscreen, dual card slots, image stabilization, log profiles, microphone input, and a headphone output via an adapter. The X-T4 marks the first camera in the line to debut with in-body stabilization, fundamentally changing its use. It also obtains the Boost IS mode, which maximizes the stabilization, creating a locked-off tripod effect, and this mode virtually removes the need to carry a tripod whatsoever. Fuji's also equipped the camera with the new W-Series battery, which delivers nearly double the lifespan of its predecessor. The camera even offers 10-bit oversampled video via HDMI, but with 12 historic film simulations, filmmakers have plenty of added flair at their disposal, particularly so if you prefer shooting footage that requires little color grading and post-processing. Overall, Fujifilm's X-T4 is an excellent option for hybrid shooters with extensive specifications and the quality to match. To date, it's their most comprehensive camera for video and one that matches several Panasonic flagships. Coming in at number 3, Panasonic's S1H. 
the Panasonic S1H was a revolution amongst the cine industry and donned a new era. Released in the fall of 2019, it houses a 24.2 megapixel CMOS sensor, 6K 24P, DCI 4K 60P, and 1080p 180p video. It also has a 3.2 inch very angle touchscreen, a status LCD, dual card slots, a full size HDMI, a tally lamp, image stabilization, weather sealing, log profiles, and headphone and microphone inputs. Of this list, it's the only camera with dedicated fans, which systematically cools the camera during prolonged sessions. This effectively lets you record indefinitely without overheating, and it's the only camera that offers 6K video. Combined, it provides 52 total options, making it the most extensive selection of crops, resolutions, and codecs to date. It's also one of few cameras that offers vector scopes in addition to waveforms for more advanced monitoring. Overall, Panasonic's S1H has little competition with other mirrorless cameras. Instead, it's a direct competitor with cinema cameras tens of thousands of dollars its price. And it revolutionized the cinema industry at launch and stands as an excellent option for filmmakers today. Coming in at number 2, Sony's A7S Mark III. Sony's A7S Mark III is the latest release and the long-awaited replacement to the famous A7S Mark II. Released in the fall of 2020, it houses a 12.1 megapixel backside illuminated CMOS sensor, the Bion's XR image processor, 4K 120p, and 1080p 240p video. It also has a 3-inch very angle touchscreen, a full-size HDMI port, dual card slots, image stabilization, log profiles, weather sealing, and headphone and microphone inputs. It obtains Sony's latest fast hybrid AF system from the flagship FX9 with 759 phase detect AF points and 93% frame coverage. This system also brings along real-time tracking for both humans and animals, resulting in the best AF performance of the A7S series. Sony's also added superior AF customization options for greater flexibility over the AF transition speed. And like other S-series cameras, it offers class-leading low-light performance, easily capturing usable footage up to ISO 51200. Yet it's now the only Sony camera to shoot 16-bit RAW 60p video, and one of few cameras with H.265 compression, the XAVC-HS format, and 10-bit unlimited internal recording. It also obtains the new Z-Type battery, which offers the longest recording time of all alpha cameras. Overall, Sony's A7S Mark III redefines the A7S lineup altogether. Not only does it continue as the current low-light king, but it also delivers real-world performance pros demand, and it's a strong alternative to their flagship FX9 cinema camera. Coming in at number one, Panasonic's GH5S. Panasonic's GH5S makes video the top priority. Released in the spring of 2018, it houses a 10.2 megapixel live MOS sensor, the Venus engine processor, DCI 4K 60p, and 1080p 240p video. It also has a 3.2 inch very angle touchscreen, dual card slots, a full size HDMI port, timecode, log profiles, weather sealing, and headphone and microphone inputs. Like the S1H, you can also apply LUTs to better monitor footage in both playback and the final render. It even has advanced waveforms and vector scopes to check brightness, color, and luminance. Plus, in the spirit of Panasonic's recent releases, it offers unlimited 10-bit 422 internal recording and the anamorphic format. And it's also one of few cameras to offer dual native ISOs, a feature taken from their cinema lineup. This allows the camera to provide cleaner footage at higher sensitivities. As it stands, Panasonic's GH5S is a substantial improvement over the original model. While it lacks image stabilization, its capabilities at this price point remain unmatched. As a video-centric camera, it's quite powerful indeed, and it delivers exceptional value for money. So there you have it, my friends. There is our list of the top 10 best mirrorless cameras for video. For more information on this list, look at the pinned comment in the description down below, and that will take you right to the full post. I've been your host, Devon Lennox. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if we overlook something or we miss something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography. <laughs>